I recently had to analyze two quotations from two different software providers with two totally different approach. One is what you absolutely need to avoid. And the second one is what I would recommend. Do you think you can guess which one is the best? In this episode, I'm going to explain what type of software development providers you need to avoid when building a startup. Hi, I'm Amory, founder and CEO at My CTO Frame, where founders come to learn how to build their tech startup. And with this Startup Snack series, available on both podcasts and YouTube, we want to share the essential to make it easier for you to build your tech startup. And for one of the projects I coach, uh, I recently received two types of quotations to develop a web platform. Both were very professional, but one is really the opposite of what any startup would need. So let's try to figure out which one is which. Let's take the number A. The offer number A is an offer to, for, to develop the web platform with custom development. They explain how they will use an open source software with many plugins. They are very transparent, explaining everything, any technical details of the tool they plan to use. This provider also wants to help as much as he can by providing an all-in-one service, including the web platform on a highly secured and dedicated server, and the acquisition strategy with SEO analysis, uh, paid uh, advertisements, organic traffic with written content with specific keywords. That's the, the, the offer A, the all-in-one. Now let's talk about the number to the, the, the offer B. They offer the web platform as well with custom development too. But they only focus on the web platform and do not provide any other services. So when the client, the startup founder I work with, talked about the acquisition strategy, the providers, uh, that provider offered to build a funnel on a no-code platform to keep things very simple. And instead of managing a dedicated server, they offer to install it on a cloud provider. So can you guess which one is the best? Is it the all-in-one or the web platform only provider? Well, the one that the startup founder absolutely need to avoid is the all-in-one package. Why? Because as a startup founder, you need to learn online acquisition. You need to learn web marketing and to share your own content. And because if you are also really innovative, you don't really know in advance what will work or not. So how a provider can know that in advance? I would even recommend you as a startup founder to generate your first contents by yourself on the beginning. So, you know, we cannot be good on everything. And even if a provider can provide all the required services you need, which could be very convenient, I agree, you are putting yourself in a very high risk situation if you are moving towards that direction. Because if the relation with this provider becomes complex or tight, you might lose everything from your server, your software, your online platform, your acquisition strategy, everything. So, I've been, I've been auditing tons of startups in that situation and trust me, it's really, really painful. So instead, here is the, the type of provider you really want to work with. A provider first that is expert in one or two technologies maximum, who do not provide WordPress, PHP, Node.js, Drupal, Ruby on Rails, Python, AI, everything. <laughs> if they do everything, that means that they are, they must be pretty bad with all of them. Or they might learn things on the go, or maybe they outsource everything. So in the end, they don't know what they are doing. That's not the type of provider you want to work with. The provider you want to work with is not the provider motivated by selling you as much services as possible, making as much money as possible. They are the one who are not going to sell you the whole package. They are going to be the one that the right type of provider who knows their own limits and prefer to tell you exactly on which topic they are very good and on which they are not. And they are also keen to simplify things using less technologies, less languages, 
keeping things very simple to evolve, and above all, easy for you to internalize later on. The worst that can happen if, um, is if, that, if you have the wrong provider is if your provider provides you a web platform in a specific language, an iOS application in native development, and an Android application in another language. And just because the excuse is that it can be faster on a native language. That's right. But honestly, we don't care if your application is 20% or 30% slower than native development. Our smartphones are very, very powerful nowadays, and we won't see the difference anyway. So instead, you will be very, very happy to learn that you can hire later on one single full stack developer that can handle everything, that can handle your web platform, that can handle your iOS, your Android, all because it has been built on a, a cross-platform um, language. So, you know, no, I know I don't know any startups who want to start with four engineers right away. One for iOS, one for Android, one for the web, and another one for the backend, because that's what you might need if you go for all those languages. So giving you so much technologies to handle is the best way for a provider to just lock you down. So in conclusion, when it comes to choosing a provider, focus on simplicity, one or two language maximum. Reuse existing components if you can and avoid native development for the first version of your application. Instead, use cross-platform technologies for mobile application and try to anticipate which type of developers you will need the day when you will ent internalize your development. And be sure to keep that team small on the beginning because who knows how much you will be able to raise and how much you will be able to afford in terms of software developers. And avoid dedicated servers as well and prefer to deploy your infrastructure on a well-known cloud provider. It will be way easier for you to find experts to manage your application and then to focus on your real value, which is developing your solution, adding more and more features. If you enjoy learning with us and want to see more, consider subscribing. Help us spread the word by hitting the like button or by sharing with your entrepreneur friends. And if you have any question or want to suggest a topic, feel free to comment down below. Or you can also check out our website to learn more about our program and how you can join.